Welcome back to Sailing Catalpa. We're currently on the Hards Den fixing up our boat. Let's get into some boat work. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. All right guys, well, today we're putting in our last through hole. So we got our last through holes on our last delivery. So we've got one last one to go in on the kitchen sink. All the valves <laughs> have been serviced. All the through hole skin fittings have been replaced. Some of the lines still will need to be replaced, but we'll have to do that at a later date. They're pretty sad, but that's it for now. But we also found a holding tank in the yard here. It was an old hydraulic tank by the look of it, because it's still got some oil residue in there. It does have an inch and a half inlet, which will be our waste inlet. It's got a vent here, which will be for our air vent. I'm just going to open this hole up and make an inspection outlet. And there is one on the bottom side, which will be an exit. So this will be a gravity tank. It'll be sitting on the workshop inside the engine bay, uh, this boat does not have a holding tank, so we thought we'd think it's about 60 litres or 70 litres. That's not a big one, but it'll be enough to get us out of trouble if we are in a reserve or somewhere needed to use a holding tank. Piece of inch tube, or inch and a half. I'm going to drill a hole somewhere and weld that in. Test out the uh, aluminum, aluminium welding skills here. Very thin, so hopefully they don't blow holes all through it. But I'm going to put this in because this will be our waste port for the deck. So above where I'm sitting this on the bench, there is a existing waste outlet. I'll put this inside of here. I'll probably drill, probably put a hole saw on that so I can just sit hard on the bottom and then it, it'll still have room to let the waste out. Weld that up. Plum it up, all the plumbing, I sort of half plumbed it, thinking at some stage I'd find a holding tank, and I did. I've got to make a little frame up for it. It doesn't sit flat, so I'm going to have to make something to adjust it. See how it turns out. Well, Ty's going to get him to uh, run the grinder around this, get rid of that, and then I'll get him to run the jigsaw around that, and we'll put a little inspection outlet on there. So if we do need to get in there and have a look at someone's poop, we can. And he's got to get rid of all the oil residue, because... I've got a weld, and welder doesn't like any sort of residue. Don't tip that hole up, Taz. Here's the Dawn. Good old Dawn breaks down the oil pretty quick. We don't use it for anything else, but it's out of the engine bay, really. Taj got on the tools and first grinded the hole, then cut out the exact size with the jigsaw. Smooth the edges, and that's it, ready to have the hatch installed. Meanwhile, Lee was installing our last valve in the galley under the sink. While he was under there, he found some more dodgy plumbing, but that will have to wait. First things first, let's get the valve in and head outside to install the skin fitting. Well, I guess the final through hole. It only took us six months. <laughs> wow. We could have got them in sooner, but we, we only just got the last couple delivered the other day. We haven't needed them in straight away. Obviously we weren't ready, but... Now we're ready. No excuses. We're gonna transfuse we could actually, we literally, could go We could literally go in the water now, so there was still a ton of jobs to do, but... We could float once these, this last through hole's in. Took us about five years to do that job on Catalpa. Yeah, it's more peace of mind. Even when we did do it on Catalpa, as old as it was when I did cut the bronze, it was still pretty good. Obviously the valves weren't working at the time, they wouldn't shut off and that. But as far as the integrity of the bronze, it wouldn't have let go. I don't think. I think Catalpa 1 was just they wouldn't open and shut properly, but cut them off and they were still pretty good. It says it's satisfying. It is satisfying. Don't eat that, Drake. Take one second to tape up and then you don't even have to clean. You nearly didn't do it. It's feeling a little lazy, don't you? Yeah, I was feeling lazy, but for what it's worth, it takes you literally two seconds to throw a bit of tape over it and then you don't have to clean any mess. You don't have to clean it anyway. Oh, look, that's the way I do it, guys. <laughs> Some guys just put them in, let the uh, silicon all spill out the sides and then cut it off with a Stanley knife the next day, but each to their own. 
It's the last one, it's all our through holes. Let's go sailing. All right, put us back in the water. Let's go. Hey, Drake. What do you reckon, Drake? Okay, so we're halfway through on the holding tank. Uh, it's not a biggie, it was just one of those jobs I had. I had a line from our bathroom that has a two-way valve. Thought if ever we got an opportunity to get a holding tank, I just put it in when we originally plumbed the toilets in San Diego. So here it is. I'm gonna connect that onto the top of our box. This aluminium holding tank. Taj has just cut off the hole. I've got an inspection outlet there. I've got my breather here. I've got my inlet here. I've got my outlet here. So it actually just worked out this box in the yard. All the fittings apart from one that was missing. Just the one that I'm going to put in here, which will remove the poop. And uh, I'm going to pop a hole in here and test my welding skills out. So we'll weld up a frame for that and then we'll call that done. That was a free holding tank. Oh, look at that. It's not a bad little hole for the welder. He hasn't got too much to fill. There's a little bit. I'll slide my hose over the top of that, but so it doesn't get stuck on the bottom. It's gonna drill a hole down the bottom. It'll have something to sit on and suck from. So. Okay, so there's our inlet, there's our outlet, there's our breather, there's our inspection port, and at the back here where you can't see it is our gravity fed dump. At some later date too, we'll drill another hole and just put a tank sensor in there, and we can run that to our Servo GX and we'll know how much uh, we've got on there. So yeah, I'm just gonna weld up a steel frame just for this, because I've got enough steel there. Um, and steel together. That's all right, it's inside the boat. Dissimilar metals Sarah's concerned about, but it'll be fine. It'll be painted and it'll have a little bit of rubber under it anyway. It's roughly it, so I've just got to put a weld around the aluminium outlet there, not blow a hole in it, make up just a little frame so I can bolt it together. And uh, I'll have a play with that now and that'll be my welding job for this evening. I just got a new tank of gas from Arizona, from Phoenix. I only have little tanks there, like scuba diving size tanks, which will be perfect once we've done our work. So if there is a little bit here or there that needs doing. They don't take up much room. Obviously you can get massive tanks, but we don't want one of those on the boat. Well, I'm making a bracket for the holding tank and the tools, toolboxes. Um, it's a bit windy here at the moment. Like it's about been 30 knots last night um, and I'm getting the odd gust come through. So I'm not gonna weld here. I'm just spot welding. I'm just like tacking what I want to, to uh, together I'll take it in there the engine bay and once I'm right I'll take it up to the rec room and weld that up tonight yeah just just tacking it for now well I thought I'd uh, make a little tool rack to just for my toolboxes because we're gonna try and keep the bikes on board so if I get my toolboxes up here out of the road just hold it Taj I'll tighten it and trying to sort the engine bay out so that we can actually keep our electric bikes. We love our electric bikes and they have been so helpful. We got them when we we're in San Diego and when you don't have a car it's like so handy. So you can go to the shops and pick up things and just get around and go and see stuff. It's like absolutely unreal having them on board and we thought the other day that maybe we would have to sell them while we're here because well, the engine bay is getting a little crowded, but Lee is in there and he has been in there a lot. He spent a lot of time the last week or so trying to organize the engine bay and arrange things so there's plenty of room. When we first got the boat, we were like, oh my God, there's so much space in here. He's going to be able to store everything. Everything's going to have its home. And then we got a generator, which is amazing, but it's taken up a lot of room. We've also fitted out with a lot of new stuff and a lot of cool stuff in there. And Lee is doing an incredible job of making room for everything. So that's what him and Taj are doing today. We have a holding tank now as well. It's in there. He's made a home for it. He's made a rack for it. And everything is fitting into place and that's what they're doing. Way there, Taz. I'm just filming for a second. All right, so we're in the engine bay. There's still lots of little bits and pieces to do. It's just a minefield of little projects that have been one after another in here. Nothing visual that uh, makes the boat look any better, but definitely is going to give us less problems down the line. I've just plumbed that up or I'm just fitting this and then I'll plumb it up. I've also put it while I was at it as well to the rack up here for our toolboxes to go in just to save a bit of this space and the bench space and hopefully fit our bikes back in where I'm sitting. So a little bit more, got to mount the battery here, our decoder lithium, 
get our lid back on here, tidy up a lot of wiring. Still got bits and pieces on the engine, but it's all coming together. It's just so time consuming. How'd your aluminium welding go last night? Don't ask. I've done one nice weld right around it, and I thought, oh, I'll just tidy up a little bit that I wasn't happy with. Bang, and I blew a hole in it. And then all the oils out of the alloy were coming out of the tank and bubbling and carrying on, and it just turned real messy real quick. So I should have just left it, but I didn't. But I got there in the end. As far as steel and stainless goes, piece of cake with that little welder. That little Eastwood is an absolute ripper. Uh, I've got a little bit to learn. We'd, mind you, I haven't done any alloy welding, so... Should we have a learn. little look at your weld? Nah. <laughs> I'm going to show them anyway. No. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Terrible. Let's see. We all got to start somewhere. That is terrible. It's not too bad. Look at that. That's what he did. There is our inspection hole. And that is our holding tank. Oh, <laughs> sorry. There's not much room in here. I need to sit on your lap. This is the shelf that he's working on. And that'll get all of the boxes out of our lounge room. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. I just thought we'd get a little update of what's happening in the engine bay. All right, so we had a old controller here. I think it might have been the old controller for the original generator, maybe. It was an old bit of kit. I don't know what it was, to be honest. I'm left with a hole there, so I've removed that, I've thrown it in the bin, and I've just found a bit of timber on the boat. I'm going to cut this down, mount our controller for the generator onto that, and our generator controller will sit there, because I've got a big hole in the wall I want to cover. And that's how I'm going to do it. Cut that off and make that look like part of the boat. giving it a quick little paint job here. Time to install this. I'll get in here and uh, show you what it looks like once it's installed. <laughs> Bless you, darling. <laughs> Thank you. Something like that. Beautiful. Okay, so I just got Bella. She's uh, up in the dive locker. She's just putting a little dab of sealant on the top of those screws, just in case we do get water in our locker, which we shouldn't really, but it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of sealant on there. I'm using my favorite little tools, these little spanners. Uh, just little ratchet spinners, so if you uh, can't afford a nice socket set, but uh, these are good for getting in the tight little spots, just as opposed to using a, a normal socket set, these are great. Alright, there's our inspection outlet, if you want to have a look at some poo now and then. Hopefully you don't have to open this. It's there anyway if we do need it, if something blocks up somewhere along the line. It is gravity fed. I've set it up so that it'll just drain, no pumps. Pretty simple. And here it is, the shelf and the rack is installed and looks pretty great. Next job, Lee is installing the monitor for our generator. You know, it's really frustrating when you live on a boat and you're working on the boat. And he decides to come and work in the kitchen when I'm cooking food at the same time. He just loves being close to me. So great. It's so great. That's great. Not in the way at all. Look at that. That's what you call an old instrument that was there. Now there's a new one. Sorry for the loud noise. The vacuum cleaner is going. Sarah's cooking up a storm in here while I'm trying to get jobs done. But anyway. We just want to say a massive thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being here. And thank you to our amazing community that continues to support our journey and we are getting so close to getting put back in the water so stay tuned don't go anywhere no <laughs> actually before we go lee is just going to finish up here and show you the install of the generator monitor yes as we know i've explained before when the generator was removed from the last boat that it was in all the wiring harnesses were just lost and thrown out so I'm just making myself up some terminals. They're only like a one and a half mil to connect onto all the pins. This was a real rough job just to see how it would work. And I got myself the correct terminals. I'm just going to make up my own little harness here. 
I don't have the actual plug, but it's fine. I know which ones the, uh, I've got my terminal layout here, so that makes it easy. Put it all back together and I'll have this part of the job finished. Would have been plug and play, but hey, here's what it is. At least we got it back together and we got it working. A little bit of heat shrink on these so they don't, they don't touch each other. I've varnished up my little piece of timber. That should be good. I'll secure that into our wiring tray. Oh look, we've even got power. So we're ready to roll. So we'll just mount this. That's uh, another job done. That wraps it up for now with the generator. We're just waiting on the hose. So until next time, you know what to do. Like, subscribe and uh, take care guys. And we really appreciate your support. Thanks again. See you on the next one.